The sun will not form a black hole. When it runs out of nuclear fuel, it will collapse, and there's something that can stop it collapsing. It's beautiful calculation, by the way, that. You can do the calculation, it's great. So what, what stops it, there's something called a Pauli exclusion principle. The electrons don't want to be close together, roughly speaking, you could say it like that. So as you squash the thing, the electrons get closer together, and so they kind of separate away from each other and go into smaller and smaller little regions of space because they're trying to stay away from each other. But there's also something called the uncertainty principle, Heisenberg's uncertainty principle. So as you confine them into smaller regions, they, they start jiggling around faster and faster. Um, and, and ultimately you can reach a limit where they're, they're essentially trying to jiggle at the speed of light and they can't. And so there's a limit to how much pressure that process can exert and it turns out it's 1.4 times the mass of the sun which is called the Chandrasekhar <laughs> limit uh, so you can do that calculation but it, it's a beautiful calculation because you could have worked that out n not knowing that stars exist all you need to know about is quantum mechanics and relativity and you can make the calculation what is the biggest lump of stuff that can be held up by this jiggling of electrons. It turns out it's 1.4 times the mass of the sun. Then you look into the sky and you see there are these things called white dwarfs, these collapsed stars, which are, and there's none, more massive than 1.4 times the mass of the sun. So it's very beautiful. And then you can get neutron stars, which are held up by the jiggling of neutrons. But ultimately, if you go to something that's three, three times the mass of the sun, something like that, a bit more, then nothing stops it collapsing and that's when you form a black hole so the most the lightest black holes that we know of are, are around that mass right and then and then we know of them that are 10 20 30 times the mass of the sun from collapsed stars and then these things which are millions of times or even more the mass of the sun which are the heart of galaxies